okay, this is crazy. Two years ago tonight, I was sitting in the back and go, what? I was supposed to learn to cheer? Tonight, I'm doing the squiggly on the front row. God, you got to have fun with this, guys. So this is, um, I just want to say thank you first to my family, the MedZone team, the Open Call team, Scott, and those guys for uh, putting this together. Um, this is a great event that um, you should all be proud of. This is a significant accomplishment by being here. They have thousands and thousands of applications of suppliers who want to attend this, and you made the cut. And that is no small feat. That is a big deal, and I want you all to be very proud of yourself and um, know that it is a, uh, uh, quite an accomplishment to be in a room like this with uh, experts like this and enjoy it um, as we go through and talk about this. A little bit about MedZone. Uh, we're based in Kansas. Um, we offer sports medicine and skincare products, and tomorrow we're actually pitching a skincare product for the uh, Plus community to health and beauty. So two years ago, I was you, uh, and tonight I am you again, because I'm going to be prepping, I'm going to be taking this advice, because I'm going to be out in the store tonight trying to figure out what is the best way to tell my story to be able to talk to uh, the buyer in the room tomorrow. Uh, that's our product. It's Chafe Zone. Uh, it's an anti-chafing stick for your midsection, your thighs. Uh, by the way, it's hot and humid in Arkansas. If you're feeling something, Walmart, Sports and Fitness, 996, where I'm always closing. We, we'll take that support. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Um, so they asked me to talk about my journey, and, and it's a journey that a team of people went through. The first thing I would tell you, and I think this is really important, it's a marathon. It's not a sprint. Scott talked about a spot buy and how tomorrow there's going to be people in this room who get an order. And there's going to be a lot of people in this room who don't get an order. And that's okay because it's a marathon. It's not a sprint. Um, when I came down here, I felt like I was prepared. And I walked into this room right now. I saw this. I saw the lady that was giving this speech and realized, holy cow, I need to prepare more. I spent the night not the night. I spent a lot of time that night in the Walmart store. Um, I was online researching and I did everything I could to be prepared when I walked into those meetings. I had uh, four meetings that day and I didn't get a yes. I got three maybes and a no. And what was ironic is, you know, a no was really a lucky break. I just didn't know it at that point in time. We went to Health and Beauty and we talked to the buyer about our product and she was very nice. She goes, I understand, but it's not for us. The packaging's not exactly right. It doesn't fit exactly where we're looking. And I was concerned about that. I was deflated. I mean, we're all type A personalities in here. We all want to win. You're here for a reason. You've been successful. And so when I took that, it was really hard to digest, but we turned that into an opportunity. We took that and we spent a lot of time repackaging, reworking our product, finding a niche, finding a way to help a shopper. And so that's the product that we're actually going to be pitching tomorrow. And I really attribute a lot of the success and the opportunities that we had to that buyer's meeting. Um, one of the things that I would give you a lot of advice about is to listen and take feedback, take notes. You're going to hear things today that you're going to want to write down. It's good. Where else can you get an audience with some of the best experts in retail in the world. And it's right here. It's one of those things that you want to take notes, you want to be patient, you want to come up with it. Because like Scott said, my first PO didn't come for 12 months. Uh, and it was a long and drawn out process. It was invigorating and I'm smarter and I'm better because of it. But it's one of those things, it didn't happen overnight. So from an advice standpoint, enjoy the day. You've worked so hard in your company. You work hard every day uh, creating new products for new customers. Just enjoy it. Relax. Take a breath. That sounds easy. I'm nervous. I had a reporter today goes, are you nervous? I said, absolutely. If you're not nervous, you're probably in the wrong meeting. You're absolutely nervous. Uh, these are really smart people, and you want to show well. So tell your story. In the same token, meet the suppliers in the room. Do you guys look around and look at the smart people who have all these different wide array of products. Meet the other suppliers. Talk to them about what works and what doesn't. Um, meet the Walmart team. There's some great people here. 
And the one thing that I thought was most surprising was how much you're aligned. A Walmart buyer wants to have a quality product that they sell to a shopper that solves a problem. You want to have a quality product that you want to sell to a Walmart customer. So you're really aligned. You're trying to get to the same spot, but you just have to figure out what is the best path for you to get down there. Uh, the buyers want to work with you. They do. They want. I mean, I can tell you, everybody who's going to be in that room tomorrow is going to want to find that person to give that ticket to. You know, they want to write that order. They want to have that success story. You can hear it um, in their voices. Be open. There's going to be something in that conversation that may not be exactly the way you wanted it, and that's okay. Be open. They're going to say, you know, I'd like this maybe a different color. I'd like this to be a different size. I'd like this to be in a different master pack. And that's okay. You're trying to get to the same conclusion. So do it together and listen to their advice and just soak it all in. Follow up. Um, the buyers want a relationship with you. You know, when you walk in tomorrow, uh, we were having this conversation earlier um, that don't spend the first 10 minutes telling them about everything about you. Build your relationship, but then tell them your story of your product. Tell them what you want. Have a conversation with a purpose. Make sure that you understand what you're there for and practice. Oh, my gosh, that sounds so easy to say. But if you're not practicing, you're missing an opportunity because you have 30 minutes tomorrow to go and be on the showcase to where the eyes of the largest retail in the world are watching you and watching your product. Go practice. Be prepared. The one thing I would say in addition to, and this is easily forgotten, go share the experience with your teams. It's awesome that you're here. You're here, you're getting to see the presentation, you get free lunch from Walmart tomorrow, but your teams, hey, that's a, that's a big deal. Hey, you, but your teams are back at the office and they're working. Go share it, get on social media, get on the Walmart app, go share it with your teams and tell them, look what we did, make them proud. Because in a, it, that's in that circle uh, that once they feel better, you're going to feel better, the products get better, the Walmart shopper gets better, and everybody wins. So the next 24 hours are going to be wildly hectic. Enjoy it. It sounds easy to say, uh, and like I said earlier, I was you two years ago, and tonight I am you. Because the minute I put down this mic, my team and I, we're going to rehearse, and we're going to go work, and we're going to go do our research. I was in the uh, Walmart store last night. You know, there's something special about seeing your product on the shelf. You're like, that's awesome, you know? And then there's something even more special about seeing on the shelf that you want it to be on. So do your homework. Ask questions. Listen. Be open. Have fun. And just realize that this is cool. There were thousands of people who were dying to get into this room, and you made it. And you made it. And look at the quality of people that are around you and the quality of products. You guys did an awesome job. You know, pat yourself on the back. Go home and tell your family that how proud you are. Go home and tell your team how proud you are. It's an awesome, awesome experience. Now, remember, take notes, have fun, follow up, have a conversation with a purpose, and just go kill it. There's going to be several people here who are going to walk out tomorrow going, yes. But if you're not, that doesn't mean you walk out without being better. Everybody's going to be better at the end of the day tomorrow. Your hard work, your preparation to get here, your preparation tonight, everybody's going to be better. So all I would tell you is good luck, congratulations, have a blast, get out on the app on social media, tag people, show them that you're having a great time, and let's start this journey together. Because just like you tomorrow night, I, I, I didn't come to not get a ticket this year. I didn't get a spot by last year. I'm working hard to get ours tomorrow, but it's one of those things. Just have a great time. I appreciate Scott, you and your team and the Walmart team for having us. And I appreciate you guys all for listening to me. And I would just say, practice the cheer, practice the squiggly and uh, go do your homework tonight and have a blast tomorrow. And good luck to all of you.